welcome back. So today I filmed you this makeup tutorial for New Year's Eve or for any occasion where you want to look glam and awesome. Um, I absolutely am in love with how this turned out. It was kind of out of my comfort zone because as you know, because if you watch my videos, you know that I love to stay to like the neutral browns, orange, like red tone shades. So I decided to go with a dark black smoky eye today with some glitter on the lid. I don't know why I keep doing this with my hand, whatever. Um, so if you would like to see how I created this look, then just keep watching. So starting off this makeup look, I already have my base done. So I have my foundation, concealer, and my bronzer, and my brows. And now I am just setting my eyes with the MAC uh, Soft Ochre Paint Pot just for a base. And then I'm going in with my Makeup Geek Eyeshadows in the color Peach Smoothie. And I'm just blending it in my eye and my crease as a transition shade with my Sigma E40 brush, just making sure it is nicely blended. I do go in a couple of times to build up the color. And then going into another Makeup Geek shadow, this is Coco Bear, and I'm going on with a Sigma E25 blending brush, and I'm just putting it deeper into the crease and blending it up and turning my brush sideways just to make sure that the edges get nicely blended. I'm putting it in the inner corner and on the outer corner because we are going to be putting black on our lid, so I want that brownish color to be all the way from the inner to outer corner. And then I keep going in with my big fluffy blending brush to make sure that all of the edges are blended, and then I keep going back in with Coco Bear until it gets the shade that I am looking for. Then going in with the NYX Cosmetics Jumbo Eye Pencil in Black Bean. I'm just putting it all over my eyelid as a base, and then I'm going to be blending it out with a synthetic brush. Don't put it anywhere higher than the crease. Even I left a little bit of space between the lid and the crease. And then going in with Makeup Geek Bada Bing Eyeshadow. This has a little bit of sparkle in it. It is kind of brown, but kind of black. I thought this would be an easier color to blend out than a like pure black matte shade. So I'm using this color just to kind of blend out that black shade so it has a nice gradient effect between the black, the color, Cocoa Bear and then the Peach Smoothie. And I do go in with a few different brushes. This is a Buff and Blend brush by Sigma. It's a really good brush to try to blend out black because it's a nice, stiff, dense brush. And then I keep going back in with the big blending brush just to make sure all of the edges are blended. And I do also go in a few times with that Cocoa Bear shade just to make sure it's all blended. And then going in with this Urban Decay eyeshadow in Oil Slick, it's a little bit more black than the Bada Bing, and I did just want it a little bit more black. You, this is a totally optional step. You do not have to do this, but I'm just putting it with a flat shader brush on my lid just to make everything a little bit more deep. And for my lower lash line, I'm just taking my Flat Definer brush by Sigma and the Oil Slick shade by Urban Decay and just putting it on about half of my bottom lash line. And then I'm going to be taking the color Cocoa Bear by Makeup Geek like we did on the top just to blend out that shadow. And then going in with any black pencil, this one is from Benefit and I am just putting this in my waterline to make sure that it is nice and smoky and I do go in with a pencil brush and make sure it's all blended but I took that clip out. And then just going in with Shima Shima, also by Makeup Geek just to highlight my brow bone and my inner corner and I do go in with a blending brush to like blend away the harsh lines of that inner corner and after that I'm going to go with my favorite part, the glitter. This is the Heavy Metals I, uh, glitter liner by Urban Decay is the same one that I used in my previous video if you want to go check that one out as well I absolutely love this I will leave all of the information about it down below and links where you can find it And I'm just putting it all over my entire lid and then just going in with any mascara This one is from Pani Cosmetics and I'm just giving myself a couple coats of mascara because I am going to go in with falsies and these are by Bella Mafia lash. I absolutely love these lashes. They are so like like wispy and beautiful and I thought it looked really great with this look because I didn't want to like cover up the lid shade with like too big of lashes. So I'm just going in with Benefit Rockateur Blush with my Zoeva brush and I'm just putting it on my apples of my cheeks and blending it back into my hairline. And then for highlight, I am going in with High Beam by Benefit, and I'm just putting it on the brush, putting it directly onto my cheek and in my hair. And then I'm putting it kind of around my eye, a little bit above my forehead, down the bridge of my nose. And then I'm blending it out with my finger. I probably would have used a beauty blender if I had had one in front of me, but I didn't, and I was too lazy to go get one, so I just blended it out with my finger. It did take a little bit longer than I wanted, but eh, it still looked great afterwards. And then to set that, I just used the MAC um, highlighter in O oh, Darling. I didn't use very much. I just kind of wanted to put something over the liquid because I just wanted to. <laughs> 
And then since the eyes were so like, wah, I decided to go in with a nude lip. So I of course went in with my MAC stripped down lip liner just to line my lips and I also did fill them in. And then after I'm going to be going in with a liquid lipstick and the one that I decided to use was by Anastasia Beverly Hills and it is pure Hollywood. I absolutely love this color. It's like the perfect nude shade. Um, and then in the center of that, because I wanted it to just have a little bit more dimension, I decided to go in with the color Milkshake also by Anastasia. And I literally just put it right in the center of my lips, kind of smushed my lips together. And then afterwards I took my finger and I just slowly blended the two colors together. All right, and this is the final look. I hope you enjoyed. I am definitely gonna go pick up like every single color of those glitter liners because I'm absolutely in love with them. Uh, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I love you all so much. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you later. Bye.